What you need to know about Perk Solar. Conventional silicon photovoltaic PV, cells have long been the standard in the solar industry. But as the technology matures and approaches hard efficiency limits, researchers and manufacturers have started to embrace a relative newcomer, the passivated emitter and rear contact PERC, solar cell. In this article, we'll look at the core benefits of PERC solar cells, how they work, how they're made, and even how to sell them. But first, let's get into some background about how conventional solar cells work and what limitations they present. How standard solar cells work. Traditional solar cells contain two layers of silicon, commonly called N-type and P-type for their negative and positive charge behavior. A solar panel creates electricity when sunlight hits the solar cells, knocking electrons loose from the N-type layer as the P-type layer accepts them. These flowing electrons are what create an electric field, and by extension, clean solar power for the customer's home or business. A simplified cross-section of a silicon solar cell. Sunlight, orange, hits the solar cell and the light knocks electrons, blue, loose within the silicon material. Electrons that make their way to the electrical contact can then flow through an attached circuit, providing electrical energy. Although this basic design has served the solar industry well, plain PV cells suffer from several types of efficiency losses, including Insufficient sunlight capture either due to light reflecting off panel surfaces or because of wires and other components blocking light. Excessive heat buildup, especially as light hits the backmost surface of the PV cells. Free electrons being knocked out of alignment due to scattered light refraction. Electrons recombining with the silicon material on the front and back of the solar cell. Within a solar cell, some efficiency is lost when light is not converted to electrons, or the resulting electrons don't make their way to the rear for contact. Researchers are constantly working to reduce these losses. Fortunately, some of these efficiency losses can be mitigated with technology. For example, adding a front passivation layer can help stop front-side recombination. This strategy also helps to reduce some reflection. To prevent unwanted electrons from moving through the cell and hitting the rear contact, it's possible to add a back surface field layer or place all the wires on the back of the panel during the manufacturing process. The hardest efficiency losses to manage, however, are excessive PV panel heating and backside recombination. Because of these limits, the maximum efficiency of standard solar modules hovers around 20% in the field. Most silicon modules have layers that help avoid losses. The front layer reduces reflection losses and also prevents electrons from being lost on the front edge. The rear back surface field repels electrons, reducing the number that make it to the rear contact. What are PERC solar panels and how do they work? First introduced in 1989, PERC panels are modified silicon cells that have an additional layer on the back. Because this extra layer is reflective, it is able to send unused light back across the N-type and P-type junctions to generate more energy. Better still, this reflective surface also helps to reduce rear recombination and prevent longer wavelengths from becoming heat that would otherwise impair the cell's performance. Early commercial implementations of PERC technology ran into trouble, largely due to increased light-induced degradation. But with steady improvements over the years, PERC modules have since achieved solar generation efficiencies up to 12% higher than their traditional silicon counterparts. As a result, solar PV installers are able to save time and reduce costs when using the newer PERC standard. This is because fewer panels are needed to achieve the same solar power output. Using fewer panels also helps to reduce the amount of racking, wiring, and MLPE devices needed to connect everything together. For example, even if roof space is not a major concern, it may be possible to save installation time and costs by using higher efficiency PERC modules. If a site takes 40 standard modules or 38 PERC modules to reach the desired annual production, you're able to reduce the amount of racking, wiring, and MLPE devices needed to connect everything together. Like other high efficiency modules, PERC modules can be used to maximize production on a limited roof area. If you're installing on small roof areas or buildings that are partially shaded, PERC modules would be a good option. PERC Module Production PERC solar modules are structurally similar to other silicon panels on the market, which is a distinct advantage for manufacturers. Even though there are additional costs when creating passivation and rear contact capping layers, panel manufacturers are able to reuse existing production equipment with minimal retooling required. This places PERC manufacturing costs on par with conventional silicon cell production. Although PERC panels remain slightly more expensive, these costs are largely offset by the increased efficiency gains, which yields higher lifetime utility bill savings and carbon offsets for the end user. 
And as the technology continues to mature thanks to economies of scale and R&D, perk cells will likely continue to benefit from even larger efficiency gains and cost reductions moving forward. Types of perk solar modules. Mono perk cells. Mono crystalline solar cells are cut from a single piece of silicon, making them more efficient than polycrystalline panels. Additional perk layers can be added to help further increase efficiency rates. Poly perk cells. Unlike uniform monocrystalline cells, polycrystalline perk cells are manufactured using a blend of silicon shards. This mix yields lower efficiencies, but polycrystalline cells are cheaper to manufacture. Just like with monocrystalline cells, adding a perk layer can significantly increase the efficiency of polycrystalline cells without dramatically increasing their manufacturing costs. But because higher solar power output is the holy grail of the industry, the more efficient monocrystalline perk cell is the preferred standard for most new PV installations. Growth in perk cell production. Global demand for perk modules has skyrocketed in recent years. In 2014, for example, total installed perk capacity accounted for less than. By 2022, that number had mushroomed to nearly 160 gigawatts. That researchers in Germany have also developed a way to manufacture perk cells from 100% recycled silicon materials suggests that the technology's dominance will only grow as extant PV systems reach the ends of their useful lifetimes. How offering perk solar panels can increase solar sales. The main selling point of perk panels is their efficiency. Because they make better use of space, fewer modules are required to produce the same solar output as a standard silicon panel. For customers who may have space constraints, offering perk panels is a compelling option. But even if roof real estate isn't a factor, it's possible to save installation time and costs by using perk modules. In effect, perk technology used to be a competitive advantage. But due to its cost parity and higher efficiencies, it has since become the official industry standard for new solar PV projects. In fact, the International Energy Agency reports that PERC panels currently enjoy almost 75% market share among new PV installations. What is TopCon Solar Panel Technology? While PERC, passivated emitter rear contact, technology has become ubiquitous in solar panel manufacturing, a different process is expected to emerge as a top contender. TopCon, or Tunnel Oxide Passivated Contact, was introduced to the industry in 2013 by the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems in Germany and has been used by mainstream Chinese manufacturers since at least 2019. It pairs a tunneling oxide layer with a perk solar cell to reduce recombination losses and increase cell efficiency. In a few extra steps, TopCon makes a perk cell more powerful and efficient. Plain perk technology has a theoretical efficiency limit of about 24%, denoting how much solar energy the panel can convert to usable electricity. So to continue pushing forward, manufacturers use more advanced passivated contact technology. Longi announced in 2021 that it had reached 25.21% efficiency for N-type bifacial TopCon cells, and a few months later Jinko Solar reached 25.4% efficiency. Trina Solar Double Glass Bifacial Modules Using TopCon Technology the incremental TopCon efficiency advancements continued in 2022. Trina Solar hit 25.5% efficiency with the largest 210mm cell size in March. The company has not yet released a TopCon product to the North American market, but the innovation may reach Western shores soon due to TopCon's easy gains in cell efficiency and reliability, said Zixuan, Rocky, Lee, product manager at Trina Solar. Higher efficiency allows the panel to harvest more energy per unit area, he said. TopCon has an 80% bifaciality rate compared to PERC 70%, which lets TopCon modules harvest more energy from the rear side compared to PERC bifacial modules, which is favorable for ground mount utility projects, Lee said. These cell advances are accomplished rather easily on PERC cells when compared to brand new manufacturing processes. PERC adds a passivated film to the back of ordinary solar cells to absorb more light that may have passed the initial cell surface. TopCon takes that same perk film and adds an ultra-thin oxide layer on top as another barrier to contain unabsorbed light. Compared to heterojunction technology, HJT, which combines crystalline silicon and amorphous silicon thin film into one high-power hybrid solar cell and requires a totally different manufacturing process, adding one oxide layer to a perk cell is an easier manufacturing upgrade. Jinko Solar's Tiger Neo line uses TopCon technology. TopCon adds an additional tunneling oxide passivation layer to the cell but can be added to existing PERC lines for a relatively low portion of their total cost, said Adam Dietrich, Director of Product Management and Technical Services for the U.S. Division of Jinko, Solar. 
The additional efficiency and energy yield benefits of Topcon make it the lowest net capital cost at full scale. Dietrich said Jinko Solar is focused on growing N-type Topcon capacity as its primary cell offering as it sees Topcon being the leading passivated cell technology in the market within the next five years. Topcon offers the best combination of efficiency and reliability relative to capital cost and easily fits into existing module design parameters, he said. There are other N-type technologies such as HJT and IBC, but their more exotic cell architecture means they require unique cell lines at much higher capital costs. The industry can expect Topcon to quickly be as ubiquitous as PERC in the crystalline silicon solar market, just as soon as manufacturers are willing to update their production lines.